Let's create a futuristic landscape in Blender. The landscape has a wave effect based on normals. The advantage of my tutorial is the use of fully procedural materials, which makes it easy to adjust the result to your vision. Let's get started right away. First enable this add-in in Blender Preferences. With the add-in, you can generate a landscape of your choice. To do so, simply switch it on. I will show you how to do it. In the drop-down window, select a Dune preset. Set my settings, or your own, if you have experience of using this add-in. Use the seat option to recreate the landscape infinitely so that you pick the right one. It will most likely be different from mine. That's okay. Smooth the mesh using Shade Smooth. Then add the subdivision surface modifier. Create a new camera and set it up. This will require changes in the future. Now create a cube. In edit mode, select the whole geometry. Then use Ctrl plus B to round the edges. Create additional shapes for the cube or any object with a mouse wheel. Enter numbers to adjust the force. For the cube, use 0.1. Smooth the cube using Shade Smooth. Add a subdivision surface if desired. Adjust the position of the created cube. Adjust the camera if necessary. Let's create our future beams or lasers. Create a cone and adjust the radius in the drop down box. Then arrange them around the scene as you see fit. Switch to render mode and set the cycles engine. Create light sources. I prefer point light in a quantity of 4. Set it up quickly, either way this shot will require editing. Open the shader editor. Create a world material. I'll use the sky texture, but you can use the environment map if you have one. To get a gloomy result like mine, use mine or a similar setting. Let's get down to creating the wave material for the dunes. Just repeat after me. Then I'll explain everything. By the way, you can ask any question on the subject of the video in the comments and I will try to help you. Big body fences, those my senses, love with a V-dub engine, man, I'm high 
The second color value of the mix RGB note is responsible for the wave color. The top color ramp note is responsible for the base colors of the landscape. The lower color ramp node works as a wave range setting, check it and you'll see what I mean. The other nodes are for additional adjustments. For example, the bump node for creating a fake 3D effect that requires almost no computer resources. Set up the luminous material for the beams. This is very easy. And my favorite material on scene is the cube material. It looks really cool, and I love that it has the look of glasmorphism. It is somewhat similar to the landscape material, but has a slightly different logic of construction. Let's put it together, and I'll explain it to you. By the way, if you don't see the wave patterns on your object just unfold your object. The value of the mix RGB node affects the visibility of the wave effect. The two color ramp nodes with black and white affect the color range. The color ramp with colors adjusts the color. Wave texture helps you to adjust the waves. Our scene is almost ready. Add a few finishing touches, such as the positioning of objects and lights, and start rendering. These techniques can be applied when creating commercials or promotional videos for brands. And that's the end of it. Thank you all for watching. Share the video and tell us what you think of the tutorial.